Okay, so we're gonna do a series of how-to videos. So we're gonna start at the very start. We're gonna explain the C drive, the E drive and the F drive, the two systems. But the first thing is turning the machine on. So when you first get the machine, it's like a real pinball machine. You, underneath the bottom, you can feel a button. You press it, that's how you start up the machine. It's on the bottom right. Okay, so when you get your machine, it boots default, it'll be set up to be boot into the C drive. It's the unbreakable system, the reboot back to default system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain the C drive that you can't make any changes on. Now that's enough for some people, they just wanna plug and play, play the pinball machine and that's fine. We're also gonna explain the E drive where you can make changes, add tables, delete tables, uh, download brand new tables added to the system. You can do playlists of your own, you can do your own favorites, and on and on. Well, we're gonna start with the C drive. Okay, what I say, when you first boot to it, it's on the C drive. Now, if I go into Visual Pinball, what you'll see, let's do a half a minute. What you'll see on the left-hand side, there's no favorites, so you can't make any changes on the C drive, so you can't do your own favourites, etc. So, we've got two systems. They're both identical to each other. With around a thousand tables, we have Visual Pinball, we have V-Pin Workshop, we have Pinball FX2, FX3, so if I quickly go into there, you'll see all the tables. Uh, we have the A to Z, and we have arcade games. But what will happen is when you go into it, say I go into Pinball FX, once again on the left hand side here, you'll see there's no favorites. That's because we're on the C drive. So this is the unbreakable system. It's just reboot back to the file. I'll exit right out. Now what I want to show you is that we have two systems. Okay, so that is the protected system that you're booting into. This one here is my system. And what I want to do before I do anything, so I want to show you how we have different partitions. Now it's one drive, but they're broken up into partitions of local disk C, new volume E, and local disk F. Now if you look at the, the bigger ones, you'll see that the 563 gigs, and the second one's 557 gigabytes. And it's got 89 gigs left on it and the top one, the unbreakable system's got 30 gigs left. You've got to have at least, oh, probably around five to 10% of the drive left to make it all run smooth. So that's why there's 30 gigabytes there. And the F is quite small, it's under 10 gigabytes where we save high scores, etc. Okay, so if we go into local disk C, the two folders we want to look at is pinball. We go into pinball, now, on the C drive we have Future, we have FX2, FX3, but we're only going to be doing visual pinball on the E drive to update the table. So if we go into that, what you'll see is all the folders, and we've also got 10.7, so we've got a whole 10.7 set up with tables. Now we'll cover this a lot more in detail further down the track on how to videos, but we've also got another tables folder here that is 10.6. So we've got VPX 10.6, and 10.7. Now what I want to show you is on E drive, now we're on E, you'll see E, volume E, pinball folder, exactly the same, visual pinball, exact copy of the C drive. So you've got your own system there, tables, all exactly the same on the E drive, and we've also got 10.7 set up with your tables. So what it means is on the E drive, you can add tables, you can update tables, you can delete tables out of there. Now, if we go back to C, another thing to look at is pin-up player. Now this is your pin-up menu system. So this is where you have all your pub packs, like in here, all your pub pack videos, etc. Right, what I wanna show you is exactly the same on E, pin-up system, exactly the same again, but on the pub videos, you've got all this room to put in all your new 
pub packs, etc. But it's on the E drive. So you've got your whole menu system on the C and the E. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is if I go on this one, my system. So this was the one we're on, C, protected. This is my system. So this system here, you can make as many changes as you want. Now, if I go to the visual 10, like I did at the start of the video, and you go in, what you'll see now is you've got recently played, most played, and you've got favorites. If I just go into favorites, you can make as many favorites as you want. Now, we're gonna show you how to do your own favorites, how to add and remove your own favorites on more videos coming up. But this video is all about just explaining the C and the E. So if I go into Pinball FX like I did before, what you'll see is you've got favorites, most played, recently played. Now that's because we're on the E system and not the C. I'll just exit back out. So the E system, you can make as many changes as you want. It's not protected. It hasn't got to reboot back to default. And like I say, the protected system is what you have default when you get the machine. Now, if you want to boot it straight into your system, this one here is the protected system it's on. This one here is set as my system. Now, I just got to double click that with your, with your cursor, the mouse there. And what we're going to do is we're going to restart the machine. And what it does, I just restart it. By simply clicking that every time I reboot the machine, what it's going to do is it's going to start a script up as soon as the machine starts up to tell the machine that I want to boot to my system, the E system. So you don't have to go and exit in and out. If you want to boot to the E drive, your system, where you add tables, delete tables, make favorites, update tables, etc., completely customized it will boot straight into the E every single time. Just as easy that you can go and click on the protected system, this one here, and it will go back to boot into the C every time. So if you've got a barbecue and you've got mates coming over, etc., and you wanna not have it on a system that's not protected, you can just have it booting from the C drive. So I hope I'm making that clear, guys. You've got two systems. You've got the C system. Countdown. Just half mute that. So you've got the C system, it's a reboot back to default, and you've also got the E system. So what you'll see now, I've just rebooted it, you've got the recently played, most played favourite. So you're on the E system. So you can make as many changes as you want. And we're going to do a lot more videos on this. We're going to show you how to do your favourites, how to, if I just quickly go to that. Yeah. On your favourites, I've got, I think, 54 in there. I can add games, I can delete games, you can put as many games in your own favourite and completely customise it to suit what you want to do. Right, so I'll just exit back here. So like I say, on our how-to videos, we're going to start at the very start and explain how we have two different systems. Now we also have 10.7 and 10.6. Now another thing that will happen is people will click on this, and that's all fine, but you make, have to make sure that when you go to file and open a table that's on the E, you see how I've got E there, because I was just on an E table earlier, Batman, you see how that's got C next to it, C, 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 C. What you want to do is go file, open, go to the E drive, Go to Pinball, Visual Pinball, and we want to go to Tables. Now this is uh, 10.6, so you go into Tables. So you've got to direct everything when you're making changes to the E drive. If it's on the C drive and you put a new table in here and you try to make changes and save it, it will not save. So everything must be on the E. So I just thought I'd explain that. And the same with 10.7 here. If you're doing a 10.7 table, you must go on this, and it's the same thing. You must make sure you're on the E drive tables. Because if I go to File and Open, and you say I go on Local Disk C, I go to Pinball, I go to Visual Pinball, I go to 10.7, I go to my, my tables here, all my tables on here. What you'll see is a Local Disk C. Okay, so while you're on here, you can make as many changes as you want, but as soon as you reboot the machine, it's going to go back to how it was. You can't 
add anything, you can't delete anything, it's reboot back to default. So you cannot make any changes on the C. So you've got to make sure you're on volume E, pinball, visual pinball, uh, 10.7 tables. Now I can chuck any table I want in here, I can update tables, I can go on it through the emulator here and make changes, it will save because I'm doing it on volume E. So it's very important that you're on volume E, otherwise anything you do will not stay on a, as soon as you reboot the machine. Okay, so one other thing to probably cover would be, we also have the F drive. Now we've got a lot of things in here with the F drive, like your pin volume. Now all your pin volume and all your table volumes is saved on the F drive. Now, both the C and the E drive and scripts are directed to pin volume on the F drive. So it doesn't matter if you're on the C or if you're on the E drive, any volumes you're gonna save are actually gonna save from both systems. It works exactly the same way for your high scores as well. We have high scores saving in here. Exactly the same thing, if I'm on a C drive, default reboot back system, the default, I can get a high score say on Terminator, T2. I can play it on the E system, get the high score, you're gonna see the high score whether I'm on C or E on both systems, because it all saves to this file here, local disk F. Now, local disk F is not frozen, not protected, so it can be corrupted, it can be changed, the same with volume E, it's not a reboot back to default, so this is where all the changes can be made, new volume E and F. C is reboot back to default. So that's the first thing guys, you've got to understand the system, that it's not just one system, it's two full systems, two proper systems. If I go back to my system, this one here, that's the one of the favourites, it's E. If I go back to protected system, I'll quickly load it. What I'll show you again. When it's the C drive, reboot back to default, you can't make any changes. The easy way to know what one you're on is there's no favourites. You can't do any favourites of your own because it's the C drive, reboot back to default. Okay guys, so that's about it for part one. The first of a mini series on how you can customise your machine, how to videos. I hope you enjoyed that one on how to boot your machine between C and E. Okay, so also another very important element of working on the E drive is this is my system with the crescent here. Click on that. Now what you also got to make sure is if you go into popper setup, you go into emulators, this one here, that it's directed to the right drive. Now, uh, future pinball pin event, you'll see how it's directed to C still. This is on your system, the E. Now that's because there's no sort of tables coming out on there. If I wanted, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to copy folders over and change the E. So all we actually set the machine up for is Visual 10 and VPX 10.7. So if you go on that, you'll see how everything's directed to the E drive. So it's E, it's E, your ROMs folder is E, your media is E, so everything is directed to the E drive. Same with 10.7, everything's directed to the E drive. Uh, if you go to Pinball FX, what you'll see is we've still got it all on the C drive, the protected system, and the same with FX2, uh, and the same with MAME. So what it is, is 10.7 uh, there, it's all directed to the E, so you can make as many changes as you want, you can put new tables in the E drive, and the same with 10.6 here, all directed to E. So you've got to make sure that you're on the E drive as far as directing. I'll just quickly show you that again from the start, real quick. My system, pop a set up, emulators, and what you'll see is you've got 10.7, all directed to E, and you've got 10.6 directed to E. Okay, just to quickly show you, so hopefully you, you understand this, is in this folder here, Help and Utilities, I've also got my protector system with the Crescent. Now this is the C drive for making changes that you guys won't be doing. That's why I have it in a different folder. If I go to Popper Setup, I go to Emulators, what you're gonna see this time is when I go on 10.6, you see it's all directed to the C drive. 
So that's the reboot back to default. Same with 10.7. It's all directed to the C drive. So I just wanted to show you that, guys, just so you understand it's got to be directed to the E. Now that's in a different folder because this is just for me when I'm doing updating, etc. You guys won't be able to do anything with that with the protected system. So that's why it's in a different folder and it's not on the desktop. So you have my system and you have my system with the Crescent on the desktop, nice and convenient for you to click on. A quick cap off at the very end, is this is very important guys, you've got your plus and the circle one here. My system, I double click on that, it's gonna to boot to the E drive where I can customize. If you wanted to boot to the default system, like I say, this one here, set protected system, double click on that or every time you boot the machine or boot to C. So you can go backwards and forwards between the two and by default when you get your machine it will be on the protected system C. So that's how you simply change it, double click on that it will boot to the E drive every single time, double click on this one it will boot to the C drive every time you reboot the machine. And at the very start of the video we showed you how to turn the machine on so what I mean by reboot as you just reboot the machine, it will boot to the system you want it to boot to. Okay, that's the end of that one, guys. And thanks for watching.